they are attuned to the river of life and in their mind and lips is the true name the ambrosial nectar is distributed and fortunate by their fine karma receive the gift of the naam their bodies become golden and take on the color of spirituality if the lord dweller cast his glance of grace they are not placed in the fire again throughout the other seven watches of the day it is good to speak the truth and sit with the wise where vice and virtue are distinguished and the capital of falsehood decreases there the counterfeit are cast aside and genuine are applauded vain is man's utterance o nanak pain and player are in the power of our master second guru air is the guru water is the father and earth is the great mother of all day and night are two nurses in whose lap all the world is at play good deeds and bad deeds the collective record of all is read out in the presence of lord of dharma according to their own actions some are drawn closer and some are driven farther away those who have meditated on the name of the lord and are departed after having worked by the sweat of their brow o nanak their faces are radiant in the court of the lord and many others are saved along with them pori the true food is the lord's love so says the true guru with the true food i am appeased and with truth i am delighted true are the citadels and hamlets of him who abides in the true home of his self when the true guru is pleased one receives the name and blossoms forth in his love no one enters the court of the true lord through falsehood by uttering falsehood and only falsehood the mansion of the lord's presence is lost no one blocks the way of those who are blessed with the true word of the shabad by hearing understanding and speaking truth one is called to the mansion of the lord's presence slok first guru if i dressed myself in fire and built my house of snow and made iron my food and if i were to drink all the pains as water and drive the uh, entire earth before me and if were i were to place the earth upon a scale and balance it with the single copper coin and if i were to become a great that i could not be contained and if i were to control and lead all and if i were to possess so much power within my mind that i could cause others to do my bidding all this is in vain as great as our lord is so great are so great are his gifts he bestows them according to his will and player o nanak those upon whom the lord cast his glance of grace attains the glorious greatness of the true name second guru the mouth is not satisfied by speaking and ears are not satisfied by hearing the eyes are not satisfied by seeing each organ seeks out one sensory quality the hunger of hungry is not soothed mere words cannot relieve hunger o nanak hunger is relieved only when one utters the glorious praises of the praiseworthy lord body without the true one all are false and all practice falsehood without the true one the false ones are bound and gagged and driven off without the true one the body is just ashes